Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so listen, after my last video, I was getting a lot of requests to make a follow-up video and kind of touch on the more general college experience, not so day-to-day. -day. Um, people want to know more about opportunities on campus, ways to get involved. People are asking about my skincare routine. So I decided to make this video to kind of touch on all of those topics. So if you're interested in any of that, then just keep on watching. So one thing I really wanted to focus on in this video was clubs. Clubs are a huge part of the experience at college. It's a great way to get involved and meet people. And the really cool part is if there's a club that you really want to do that doesn't exist, you can create it. And actually, I am doing that currently right now because last semester I was always playing board games on Friday nights with my friends, you know, just to just chill out after a busy week. And I wanted to make it into a club, make it a little more formal. And I'm actually heading off right now to print off some flyers for the club to put around the school and let everyone know that there's a new club in town. All right. And what's great is that you get a bunch of prints per semester. So I'm cashing in some of mine right now. Guys, check it out. Join Board Game Club. It's actually happening. Now one piece of college terminology that I highly recommend you learn before you come to campus is bulletin board. And we're at one right now. Basically, it's a way for people to post what's going on, opportunities, different things to be aware of on campus. That's where I'm going to be posting my Join Board Games Club poster. So I'm actually just going to put it up on the bulletin board. And sometimes there's stuff already up that's taking up space. It's okay to cover it up if it's been there a while. And now people will see this Join Board Game Club poster. They'll be like, huh. I want to join Board Game Club, and we're going to have a full house at our very first meeting. Um, don't forget to come to Board Game Club. We have candy! <laughs> so I want to take this point in the vlog to address the question of my skincare routine. A lot of people were interested in kind of my bedtime and morning routine, what type of products I use, how I use them. So I kind of want to demystify my process for you right now. Um, so basically, when I have dry hands, I usually just kind of let that be, let nature take care of it. But um, if they start to bleed, then I'll usually intervene with some sort of over-the-counter moisturizer. Um, you can get them at like any of your local pharmacies. Um, I found that water does not work. Uh, originally, people were thinking because hands are dry, maybe water would help. I've tried soap. Both of those I do not recommend. It seems to actually make it worse. I would turn to an over-the-counter moisturizer or some sort of remedy of that ilk. So I wanted to take this time also to open a package I just got from one of my sponsors. Thank you to all my sponsors. Uh, I'm super excited to open this up and see what kind of goodies I got today. So I'm just going to crack this open. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys, you guys are going to be blown away. Oh my goodness. Thank you, sponsors. Oh my gosh. I got some tissue. Oh, that is going to come in so handy. Um, I got some awesome wet wipes. And I got some oh, sterile alcohol wipes. I honestly just want to, like, crack this open right now and start using it. Oh, let's see. Oh. Oh my gosh, guys, so smooth. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm just, I'm just so excited. I can't wait to use this stuff. Oh my goodness. Man, these really work. So one question that I'm always getting is people are wondering what I do to make sure that I'm successful in college. What's my number one tip? 
So one thing that I always talk about is having the ability to focus on your readings that you have for classes. Often you're going to have long readings from the textbook or from other primary and secondary sources that you really need to be able to just sink your teeth into. So I recommend setting aside some time with just you and the book to just focus on the on the text in front of you to really absorb what it's all about. You know, try to avoid distractions. Try to just focus in on the, the reading, how it relates to your class material, how it might be helpful in future papers you're going to be writing, and just try to have a conversation with the text. That, I think, is one of the most important things if you want to be successful in college. Now, one really special experience on campus that I'm always telling people about is Parents Weekend. Now, this is an opportunity for your parents to join you on campus and experience what your life is like while you're at college. Your parents get to have an opportunity to become more comfortable on your college campus, just like you've become oh, over the past few oh, weeks. come on. Sweetie, you left these tissues again in the pockets or something because it's all over the dryer. I don't even know it's if there's more really pieces not a in big there. Deal. It could cause a fire. I think you need to re reword the, the beginning. It's, it's, it it's doesn't fine. It, it's, how do I say? It's boring. <laughs> You're not starting off with any sort of interest. What can I say? I think you, I mean, it's up to you. I don't know what you think you're doing, but I gotta get my stuff through here. So like my stuff down there goes next. And then what's this? Is this dirty or is this clean? Shh, just don't talk. Okay. Okay. Shh. I know. Right. Shh. This paragraph, every sentence begins with I. I did this, I did that, I did that, that's boring. You want me to put this right over here? I don't know what you want. It's not, not what I want. I have to ask you. Just, just put it. Well, just hang on. Do you think that when you're submitting this that someone's going to want to read I, 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 And don't worry, they totally understand that your academics come first, even on Parents Weekend. So make sure to still take time to study. Don't fall behind in your classes just because it's Parents Weekend. They'll understand it's a great opportunity for them to explore other resources on campus while you're working on your homework. Please send me a spreadsheet when you have completed columns G and H, and I will take a look at it and send it back to you. Period. I hope that you can go to bed before it's too late tonight. Period. Thanks. Thanks so much. Mark. College is such a special time, and I urge all of you to take advantage of all of the wonderful opportunities that college has to offer. Meet new friends. Join a club. Or maybe even make your own club. Go out onto the quad and have those adventures that you and your friends will remember for years to come. Start a homework group where you and your friends can tackle challenging problem sets together. Is this what you got? It just doesn't look quite right to me. Alexa, what'd you get for number two? So, yeah, take advantage of all of those wonderful opportunities that college has to offer. College is such an exciting adventure and you are on your way. So, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel and comment in the comment section below. And remember, a successful time in college means a successful time in life. Thank you all for watching.